All right, with us from the University of Michigan, head coach Mel Pearson, student athletes Dexter Danks, Cooper Marodi, and Hayden Levine. Uh, we'll start with a question for, uh, well, a statement first from coach, and then we'll take questions for the student athletes. Coach? Yeah, thank you. Um, I thought it was a, a hard fought, gritty uh, hockey game tonight. I, I'm really proud of our team. Um, one of the things that uh, Marodi, Calderon, Danks, all week they, they asked us if they could play against uh, Northeastern's top line. And I thought they did an outstanding job. And, and then really, that, that's the story of the game to me. Uh, Hayden played well, made key saves when he had to, but uh, really proud of that line, uh, as well as Jaconi and Hughes, who had to play against those guys. I mean, they're, they're a phenomenal line. Northeastern's a strong team. Uh, there's a reason they're here. Uh, have a lot of respect for Jimmy Madigan and, and their staff. They do an outstanding job. So um, anyway, just, just proud of our players. and. Uh, looking forward to the opportunity to uh, to move on and, and play a great PU team tomorrow. Thank you, Coach. Questions for the student athletes? And we'll bring the microphone over to you. Thank you, John Doyle, Detroit Free Press. Uh, Cooper, both your goals were so different. The first one, you take it through two zones, fight off defenders. The second one was a bang bang play. Uh, if I could be a little bit greedy here and ask you to bring us through both goals, please. Yeah, um, I think right before I got the puck on the wall, Tony made an excellent play to me in front of the net, and I shot it over the net, unfortunately. And uh, I think then it went to Luke Martin, and he made a really smart play. You know, they like to jam up the front of the net, and it's tough to get shots through, and he rimmed it. And I just tried to get it off the wall and get it on net, and, and luckily it went in. And, you know, the other one, Dexter made a great play to Tony, getting up, up, up ice, and the whole game, Dexter made great plays on the wall to um, go on the other end there. And then Tony made a made an awesome play. You know he's usually uh, usually shooting pucks, but you know he just showed off what a good passer he can be as well. So um, I didn't really have to do much on that. It was all you know Tony and Dexter there. Question right here, right behind you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Mike McMahon from College Hockey News. Uh, for Cooper and Dexter, coach just said you wanted to match up against that Northeastern top line. W what made you guys want to match up against them? And at the same time, what do you think made you guys so effective against them tonight? I uh, just, you know, all week we heard about, you know, I uh, talked about it, that line was the best line in college hockey, and I think uh, playing here is my fourth year here, Coop's third, and Tony's fourth, and, um, you know, we play for those challenges, and they're, they were, they're, they're awesome players, and it was a challenge, was, you know, they could be the best line in college hockey, but we wanted that challenge, we wanted uh, to show everyone that, um, you know, the Big Ten is a really good, really good league, and we played against good players all year, and uh, you know, we love the challenge. Question over here, Bill. For, for Dexter, your goal uh, didn't look like it was from a high percentage area. Mm -hmm. And when the puck left your stick, did you have any idea where it was going? Sometimes those, those can be tricky shots, like the one you took. Um, sometimes you, know, you can catch goalies like that. And I just I knew um, I didn't have the angle of the net. The D-man was right there, and I just wanted to put it on net. I knew that Tony and Cooper were right behind me going to the net. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't, I don't even know where it went on them. But, um, you know, you put, in a, put pucks on net and good things happen, so just try to do that. Any other questions for the student athletes from Michigan? Okay. Thank you, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Hayden. <laughs> good job, Hayden. <laughs> He's really good. <laughs> we got to see the beard. It's nice. All right, questions for Coach? Go right back to Bill here. <coughs> oh, microphone right there, please. Want to go first? Yes, please, Bill. Yeah. Coach, uh, you had the one nothing lead. Then they scored fairly late in the period, the second period. Sometimes that can be a momentum changer. Any concerns about, about that turning the sort of the game around when you as you headed into the third period? Uh, not really, Bill. I was more concerned with the, the last two minutes of the period, actually. I mean, uh, you know, it's about that next shift after a, a goal, that, that change in momentum there. So I thought it was good. We got in the locker room, got settled down, and, um, you know, I thought we had a good period after that. So we really did. So, uh, you know, we didn't give them much. I think that's the key tonight. We, we just did not give them a whole lot of grade A opportunities. I mean, they're, they're a good team. They're going to create their chances. You just have to limit to them. But no, no concerns at all on that. Question for Coach, right, right up here, please. Yeah. Looking ahead to tomorrow's game against BU with more of a 
more depth in the lineup compared to just focusing on this top line for Northeastern. What does your team have to do tomorrow and change the approach, if at all? Well, I don't know if we have to ch change the approach as much as that we have to make sure that, uh, and when we talked about it even today's game, you, you might get out there against that top line. And then uh, we had confidence in any one of our lines doing the job. Obviously, we wanted certain matchups, but uh, sometimes you don't get them, whether it's an icing or whatever happens, and, and our guys have to do a job. So BU's got a really good team. Yeah, they have more depth. They have more weapons. Uh, we're going to have to understand that. But we, we do too. I, I like the depth of this team. The second half, We've seen that. We've seen some guys step forward, some of our freshmen and sophomores take a big stride. And that's one reason uh, that we had a great second half like we did. So I, I like our depth. We've always talked about that. We, we have good depth, and that's what makes it dangerous. So it's going to be a heck, heck of a hockey game tomorrow. Yeah, uh, let's go to Mike back here, and then right back up to you next. Uh, Coach, what, what was it you liked about that matchup between your top line and their top line. I mean, obviously they had a lot of success, but I guess coming in, what was it you like? Did you like about that matchup and, and wanting to get those guys against them? Yeah, thank you. Good question. Well, well, that line possesses the puck a lot for us, and and I thought they did a really good job of that tonight. So when we have control of the puck, uh, obviously that that line of theirs has to play without it. And uh, I thought, you know, you look at the plus minus tonight, and you can see which line. You know, fortunately for us tonight. You know, Cooper and Tony and Dexter were plus three, and, and that line was minus three. But I, I think that's one of the keys is, is Cooper is, is so good at handling the puck, and, and they possess that puck as a line. They play strong, they play hard, they play big, they play gritty, and they have some skill. So I thought that was a matchup that we liked. At times, we thought Norris, Warren, and Slaker with their speed could, could play against them. But uh, again, you know, Cooper and those guys were bugging me all week. So, uh, But that's good. You want your players to step up. And, and want that challenge. And they did a great job tonight. OK. Right here, second row. Yep. Uh, Jake Shane's with the Michigan Daily. I um, guess uh, you've, always, you've talked a lot about learning how to play with a lead for your team. Um, what do you make of the last 15 or so minutes in that regard? For the most part, we did a good job. You know, we, that's a key, another key. We played with the lead all game. We were never behind, and uh, I thought that was, was good. But we had a lot of players step up tonight. Like, a, like, I thought Luke Martin had a heck of a hockey game. And he's, you know, he's, he's fought some things lately. But Griffin Luce, Boca, I thought some guys really stepped up. But you could see at times we were a little nervous with the puck. We panicked a little bit, and, and some of our youth came forward tonight in that third period where we just – we just wanted to get rid of it instead of trying to make some plays. And then we have to continue to grow in that area. But tonight, for the most part, I thought we did a great job and limited them in the opportunities we had. And we stayed on the ice. I think that's one of the keys. I mean, their power play, you can see how good they are. So I thought that was one of the keys. We, we stayed on the ice tonight and didn't give them too many opportunities. Any other questions from Coach or for Coach? Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Good luck to our basketball team, and, and go Blue.